Hey guys, today I wanted to show you a specific camera equipment I take to tech events like CES or MWC in order to stabilize my footage and not have to carry around a giant tripod. This little guy right here is a stabilizer by Zeon called the Crane. It's a professional 3-axis stabilizer that works great with DSLRs that weigh below 4 pounds such as my Sony Alpha A6300. I do want to clarify that Zeon did send this to me for a review, but they did not pay me to say any of this. So this is not a biased review and everything I say in this video is what I actually think about the device. At first you may think this is a weird looking robot arm, but once you mount your camera, set it up properly and turn it on, it immediately stabilizes and no matter what movement you make, the camera will stay centered. It's pretty cool when it turns on as well. It looks like a transformer and I can get some crazy shots that I couldn't do with any other stabilizer. The fun doesn't stop there, you can rotate the gimbal in any direction with a joystick located on the handle up, down, left, right, it's all there. It also pans very smoothly, and even though it does take some time to get used to, you can record, walk around, and pan all at the same time. It even has an app for both Android and iOS called Zeon Assistant to get vital information such as the battery, controls, updates, and even the degrees of the three axes. Hop on over to the control section, and you can choose between three different modes for the gimbal, follow, lock, and full. I mostly just use follow mode as the pan axis, which is the rotation from left to right, follows the movement of the gimbal, and the camera remains locked in tilt and roll to remain upright. It's great for recording a hands-on video live or something that moves around. I also use full mode when I need to grab a transitional shot, such as the phone on a table or something that doesn't move at all and stays in place. Lock mode is like your manual mode. I don't really use this too often as I'm still in the loading process, but this could definitely be useful when I become a boss at this. I feel like everything is an app these days and you can definitely use this without the app, but it just makes your life 10 times easier when operating this thing and gets you set up way faster. The design is also amazing. It's full on aluminum alloy which feels premium in the hand, it's not very heavy only weighing around 2 pounds, and it's very small and you carry this in a backpack or a customized case provided by Zeon when you purchase the crane. I'm sure there's better stabilizers out there for professional shootings and you may not be able to use a giant camera like the RED. But nothing beats the size and advanced technology the crane comes with. Battery life is also great. I was able to use the gimbal for about 5-6 to six hours before it died, and if it did die, you can just swap out the rechargeable batteries and place in new ones. I didn't really have to worry about it dying while I was on the show floor or while I was recording live. It's very trustworthy. The reason I'm showing you this is maybe you're a serious YouTuber or professional photographer who's looking to record smooth videos with a gimbal that provides advanced features that no other competitor provides but it's still small enough to carry in a bag. It's not really meant for the average consumer who records videos for the family or is just starting up on YouTube. The reason being is that even though it's very practical, easy to use and set up, it does cost $650 off Amazon. That may seem like a lot of money, but if you know anything about professional camera equipment, this is actually not that expensive when compared to other top manufacturers, especially since this handheld provides tons of unique features at a smaller price point. And even though I know most of you watching are not going to buy this gimbal, I did want to share with you the craziest camera equipment I use when recording videos at live events. It's always good to let your audience see the behind the scenes and it definitely draws some eyes on the show floor. Well that's it for this video, let me know in the comments what you think about the Zeon Crane. Drop a like if you enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!